Lord Trimble, former First Minister of Northern Ireland and leader of the Ulster Unionist Party, has died at the age of 77. He was instrumental in the negotiation of the Good Friday Agreement, the peace deal which ended the worst of Northern Ireland's troubles. It won him the Nobel Peace Prize along with the SDLP leader, John Hume. Our Ireland correspondent Emma Vardy looks back at his life. David Trimble became one of the key peacemakers who led Northern Ireland out of conflict through dogged determination. But real peace is at hand if there is not a beginning to the decommissioning of weapons. He was not only a Nobel Peace Prize winner, but for a while a household name. In 1995, while Northern Ireland's conflict known as the Troubles continued, he became the leader of what was then Northern Ireland's largest unionist party, the Ulster Unionists. Well, we're delighted to be back down the traditional route. He could be prickly and temperamental. You are distorting the situation, Mr Thompson, entirely. And David Trimble gained a reputation as one of the more staunch unionists in his party when he opposed police, trying to prevent a controversial march by the Protestant Orange Order through a Catholic neighbourhood which led to a violent standoff at Drum Cree. But he later defied the hardliners as he entered multi-party talks with Sinn Féin, the political voice of the IRA. Those discussions eventually led to the Good Friday Agreement, which largely ended the violence. And David Trimble became Northern Ireland's first First Minister. But many in his own party felt he'd conceded too much and that Sinn Féin could not be trusted, which led to a number of high-profile defections to the harder-lined DUP. Later, support for the Ulster Unionist Party collapsed, from 10 seats to just one, and David Trimble's policies were blamed. He eventually stood down as leader in 2005 and was later elevated to the House of Lords, where he continued to make the case for unionist concerns during the Brexit negotiations. In sharing power with Sinn Féin, he always stated that he had done the right thing, though at the time it came with great personal and political risks. He will be remembered as instrumental in forging Northern Ireland's path to peace. Lord Trimble, who died earlier today. Well, let's talk to Emma Vardy over in Northern Ireland. Emma, there's been reaction from political leaders to the death of Lord Trimble. That's right, this place isn't often known for warm words across the political divide, but tonight David Trimble's political friends and opponents have paid tribute to him for his achievements in getting the Good Friday Agreement across the line. Some saying without him, it may never have been possible. Now, the former British Prime Minister, John Major, has described how he set aside his previous opposition to the peace process, saying it was this brave change in policy that was critical to getting the Good Friday agreement signed and there have been tributes from Sinn Féin to the party that would have been David Trimble's political polar opposites former leader of Sinn Féin Gerry Adams saying our conversations weren't always easy but I always believed that he was committed to the peace process the vice president of Michelle O'Neill uh, paying tribute to his 25 year legacy that he leaves behind a power sharing government here uh, that hasn't always functioned properly but that has paved the way for a very different Northern Ireland that we see today. Now, more recently, Lord Trimble had outlined his concerns over the Northern Ireland Protocol, the Brexit arrangements, which are bitterly opposed by unionists here because they create a trade barrier between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And he had voiced his concerns that this could undermine all uh, that the Good Friday Agreement had achieved. But tonight, uh, it is how David Trimble helped work to achieve the Good Friday Agreement that many never thought possible, which he will be remembered for. Emma Vardy at Stormont, thank you.